Hello everyone, once again it's Jim Okrasinski with your weekly screencast video. So taking a look at the announcements page and this week's schedule, uh, it's kind of a light week. Uh, we have discussion board number six, our invention activity, and also the responses are due, uh, the initial post I should say is due Tuesday the 12th. Uh, the responses, the two responses are due by Friday the 15th. Uh, you might want to use this week's lighter schedule, catch up on some activities, assignments, prepare to write the draft for SA2 because I believe that will be due next week. So, uh, just making a quick move. There is no quick moves when you are working in Blackboard. So, we'll take a second here while I get to the course units. In the summary um, course unit, one thing I want to point out, I hope everybody's had the opportunity to um, take a look at the summary handout here. Uh, if I were to open it up, it's a nice little handout on how and why to write a summary. Um, kind of goes hand in hand with the art of summarizing. I'm sure everybody's had the opportunity to work through those readings, posted the discussion boards. You know, you can think about the strategies uh, that are offered in the art of summarizing. And then you can take a look at the uh, traps, I call them, the two traps that they uh, list there for uh, students who sometimes uh, they fall into when writing a summary. But uh, one of the, the real important strategies is reading your article. You have to mark it, think about what you read, make a list of ideas. Um, consider the structure of the argument. How does the author uh, lay out your, their, their particular article? Are they using any of the rhetorical um, strategies there? Is it ethos, logos, pathos? How are they structuring that article, uh, their article, their argument? Also, um, you might look at their organizational pattern. How are they breaking that out? Uh, which will help you understand their argument and also um, write your summary. All right, um, work through some of the ideas. Now, here's kind of the key tips. There's no quoting in summary. Um, remember, summary is a larger paraphrase. All of this is supposed to be in your own words. Um, Rose doesn't really any use any distinct language that would have to be quoted. Um, so you don't have to summarize common words or common places. Um, don't use uncommon words as you, if you happen to find uh, some in the article. No borrowing phrases uh, or swapping clauses, as it indicates. Uh, you also want to, uh, it's important in a summary, is to um, introduce the author in the article, um, let the audience know, and then also at the time, um, you know, make sure you're constantly referring back to the author, like in every three to four sentences. In the back of the Art of Summarizing, you do have uh, some transition phrases, some strong verbs there. Uh, you want to take, take a good look at those because those will help you in your writing um, even beyond writing this essay 2 summary. All right. So here's a tip. You want to make sure that you take some time and look at that. Um, I'll get a little bit more into the structure of the essay as we head into the drafting, which will be next week's screencast video but if we go over to the discussion board quickly yay quickly in blackboard um discussion board number six as you'll see this is where you get a chance to try out your summary all right so i ask you to write a sketch summarizing blue collar brilliance i'm asking for about only three to four hundred words there's no draft in here this is not the spot at a time to write a draft I want to try. I want you to try out your summary wheels. Kind of get them underneath you there, and see if you can summarize that up to about 400 words. And then everybody can comment on those. I'll take a look at those. Make sure everybody's uh, capturing as much of the original argument that Rose has uh, in this uh, kind of a sketch invention activity for the week. All right. Um, any questions or issues? Uh, please um, send me an email. I'll be slowly working my way through the um, essay ones, uh, the literacy narratives. I've got to a couple of them. I'm going to be moving along quickly, so keep checking Blackboard. If you have any questions or issues, like I said, uh, please email me. Have a good week.